I've been waiting for so long to post this video. I feel like I've been working on it. We've been working on it. This has been a team effort for sure. Working on this for a really long time. Truthfully, it's gonna be a while still before it's like totally done, up to my standards, everything I possibly want. I don't know that I ever reach that point in any project, truthfully, where I'm like, this is it. I'm totally satisfied. There's no more changes. There's no more upgrades. I don't wanna wait any longer. And it's very nearly done. So I'm talking about my garden, my absolute uh, like Pinterest dreams come to real life garden. I love plants. I love gardening. I love growing things. House plants I have a ton of. At some point I might go through all of those and like my greenhouse and propagating all of them and all that stuff. This is my vegetable garden and I grew up with a garden. We grew all of our vegetables. Um, we had fruit trees and everything. And I loved as a kid when we were outside playing, which we always were, uh, my mother would basically shove us out the front door in the morning and say, come back for lunch and just use your imagination, go play in the woods, build forts, find bugs, salamanders, whatever, uh, entertain yourselves. No electronics or anything else. And I loved it. I love it. What we would do though, when we would get hungry is just go into the garden and pick our own vegetables or grab an apple off a tree. Um, I remember peas were some of my favorites. You could just fill your pockets with the little sugar snap peas off the vine and eat them. And so I've always wanted gardens. And some of the houses I lived in before this one, uh, I did have little gardens and I'd grow a little bit. Every place I've lived, it's been a bit of a challenge. I've moved around so much and the soil and the growing year and everything is so different everywhere. So kind of trial and error, but this garden is amazing. I opted for raised beds. That way I don't have to fuss with the soil necessarily and figure it out. I can just kind of create my own custom soil and not have to worry about weeds either. Uh, also fire ants are a big issue here. So I was concerned about those invading my garden. Um, and I, I definitely don't like to use any kind of pesticides or anything like that. Obviously it's all organic. Cheated a little bit only in that uh, the previous owner was a big gardener, but she grew uh, roses really fancy heirloom antique roses. I have probably 20 rose bushes on the property that she left. And she had, I mean, that was her job. So she had this huge um, gardening hoop and all this weed barrier and stuff. And so I just kind of changed it. I'm gonna give you a tour of the garden. I'm also going to show you kind of the process, how we designed it and built everything. And then also tell you what some of the next steps are. And I'll just kind of keep you updated in different vlogs or whatever the process as we go. So, here it is. My dream garden. I'm so in love with it. Took a long time. First two are done. These are sort of in progress, sort of. We are. I've moved everything out of the greenhouse so I could get a little more natural sunlight now that they're starting to pop up. I think it's doing them a lot of good. The garden beds, the raised garden beds are going really well. I'm pretty optimistic about having them done in maybe the next two weeks. Uh, but then of course starting raised garden beds. Even here where I have all of the like great Hi, bud. Mulch. Ah! <laughs> and everything else. Really, everything you could want. I have here, you know, there's there's great composted natural materials, leaves and things like that with lots of worms in it. Uh, I just fill wheelbarrows full. And then I have manure, which I know that sounds gross, but horse manure and rabbit pellets and everything are so, so good for your garden. And I have a ton of it. So even then, you know, that's filling more than half my boxes with just that. But still, because I have such big boxes, um, this first year, the amount of potting soil, not potting soil, but garden soil that it's taking is, whew, that is not cheap, but it will be usable for years and years and years to come. I just have to test the soil, fill it up as necessary every year, unless I kill everything, then it's not worth it. Hey, everybody. I know this is such a beautiful day. There's butterflies and birds and all the bait. Why are you under there? All the pets hanging out. Is it what you wanted? No. Latest update. 
got about half of them filled with mulch hay. And then we have to put even more hay, get another load, and then we have to find affordable topsoil. And then we put the plants in. So we got all the weed barrier stuff put in, we got these up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like fill this with stones and stuff, but that may be next year. <laughs> So I can't remember exactly where I left off on this whole thing, but um, yeah, they're all built and they've been filled with uh, like a mulch hay and then topsoil. I'm going to be running some fishing wire along here. Next, I'm going to be putting a pathway down in here and have a couple of slim boxes running down the middle for herbs. And then I have pavers that I'm gonna make pathways around the edge for. And then I'm going to be building a fence all along it, um, just having poles come up and a gate at the front here. I got the sprinkler system all working and probably need to run it today. And then got the pavers down. Eventually I'm gonna put pea gravel all through here at some point. I'm gonna put um, my herb planters right down the middle here in like metal troughs is what I'm thinking. And today's project, oh, obviously I have some stuff planted. I have more stuff to plant, but I got some stuff growing and it's all so much happier than in the little pots that it was in. So yes, today though, we are putting up this fencing all around it because it didn't last, what, two days before Hodor was digging in it. Uh, the Great Dane. So this is what I tried to repair after he had fun in here. So the whole thing's going to be fenced in and eventually I'm going to put this same kind of netting over the top to help keep some bugs out, um, keep birds out, and also just to keep, like there's a lot of just stuff dropping in the beds right now, seeds and things like that from trees and everything that I don't want in here. So All right, first things first, let's address the size. <laughs> because for little old me, this is way too big. I love vegetables. I can eat vegetables for pretty much every meal, cooked all different ways. Still, this is way too big for just me. However, keeping in mind, most of my animals require fresh produce and I am a nonprofit. So my budget is very <laughs> limited. So this is going to greatly decrease the amount of fresh vegetables and eventually fruits, I'm gonna be adding fruit trees, that I have to buy. And there will be absolutely no waste whatsoever because there's always an animal that will eat more vegetables. So that was one of the main reasons I wanted a garden this large. I figured go big, <laughs> nothing will go to waste. And eventually I might be appreciative of having this much room. So starting with this one, now this hoop structure was left behind uh thankfully so i did not have to buy that and this weed barrier here was already here uh this is where she grew her roses so i added these big four of these big low raised beds uh, and these are for spinach kale romaine butter lettuce uh arugula all of that leafy greens are going in these basically and i go through a ton of those i don't have those growing yet so i'm a little behind on that so need to get on top of it you'll see i have about half of the vegetables that i ultimately want planted planted the rest i'm going to have to break down and probably buy little started plants at this point so this was all built and it she did leave behind this watering system although i'm not a i'm not super impressed with it so so currently there's green beans and peas and squash and zucchini and cucumber and okra and uh, tomatoes and pumpkin watermelon grapes there's going to be a, a lattice trellis against this back wall and the grapes are going to grow up and all along it and then these not finished yet but this is where the herbs are going to go uh, I have to put a bottom on them. So I like to be really frugal and I have to be really frugal. So it works out perfect. <laughs> Again, nonprofit. These were all just constructed from things I already had here. And I'm going to paint the legs so they all match. Um, and then, yeah, put a bottom in. And it was a lot cheaper than buying a planter. So that was fantastic. Put the fence all around it because I don't want the cats using it as a giant litter box. And I caught Hodor, the Great Dane in here, like day 
three, digging up everything. So he killed a bunch of my watermelon and threw all the potting soil everywhere and stuff. So that was not appreciated. So this is going to be completely enclosed with a gate on the front. This is my amazing garden. Thank you.